Welcome to the Manhattanville Bus Depot Review by Transit Sylveon Hitomi. The following routes that operate from this depot are the M2, M3, M4, M5, M10, M11, M96, M98, M104, M106, M116, and M191. Now let's go to a history trip. The Manhattanville Depot, formerly the 132nd Street Depot, is a three-story structure located in the block bounded by Broadway Riverside Drive and 132nd slash 133rd Streets in Manhattanville, Manhattan. The depot is viewable from the one line between 125th Street and 137th Street. The depot holds 192 buses with storage space on the second and third floors. The original site on 132nd Street and Broadway was a streetcar barn built in 1918 for the 5th Avenue Coach Company, which later used it for buses. The facility was taken over by the MABSTOA subsidiary of the Transit Authority in March 1962. It served as the headquarters of the MABSTOA. The original depot was demolished in the late 1980s, and a new depot was opened on November of 1992, replacing the old 54th Street Depot, which closed the same day. In September 1998, the depot operated a pilot fleet of 10 Orion 6 hybrid electric buses. Also in that year, there was a plan to convert the depot into a CNG facility, but due to community complaints, it was scrapped because of the high cost of converting such a large facility. The following fleets are part of this depot. The depot currently contains 2006 Orion 7 Old Gens, 37 of them, and 2008 through 2009 Orion 7 Next Gens, 202 of them. In the past, this depot did have the 2002 for 2005 Orion 7 Old Gens and also the RTS. Also, fun fact, this is Keith Sylvan's favorite depot. Yeah, y'all probably didn't even know that, but I'm just gonna say that. Anyways, my experience with this depot, eh, it's okay. Um... Remember when the M55 never existed in the first place and the M5 literally had the full damn thing? Well, I took the full route, people. Which shit took like four hours just to get through the whole damn route. So, yeah. I have had some experiences with this depot. Not many. Mostly with the old gens and the RTS, but that's pretty much it. Overall, this depot will not get a high ranking. I'm gonna give it a 3 out of 10 because I just don't like the depot. It has way too many next gens for a depot. I love the next gens, but this depot has way too many next gens. Like, you have 200 next gens. That's like a third of the next gen order. That's sad. That's sad that you have a third of the next gen order. That's... That's just... I'm mind blown that you have that many next gens. You really... I'm... I honestly cannot speak right now. An interesting fact about this depot is, this depot is scheduled to get some XDE 40s in the future. This depot is scheduled to get the XDE-40 fleet by next year. However, we're not too sure if it will because of COVID-19. And yeah, so overall, I'm going to give this depot again a 3 out of 10. Not my favorite depot. I don't hate it as much as I do with certain depots, but it fails in my book. And, yeah, this was my review of the Manhattanville Bus Depot.